Hey everybody, welcome to RamTV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 20 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 9 and here we are for this May 20th game. We're going to be playing the Diamondbacks again. We're at 29 and 19 and they're 18 and 30. We got the lefty Steven Matz on the mound who's 2 and 3 with a 3.4 ERA. We're going to be facing Luke Weaver who's 1 and 6. Wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Looking to find himself platooning the Cespedes. Opposite the the direction. This could be enough. Let's contest him. Oh boy, it's going to be a bad throw, and he's going to be safe. And that is a sacrifice for Dominic Smith, and the Mets are up 1 0 here in the second inning. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving late, Luke Weaver. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first, but this will land untouched. One and two to Luke Weaver. Line to the right side. Really? And the Diamondbacks have their first hit of the game. <laughs> they got him out from the outfield. But a good stretch by the good first throw by Conforto the getting the very over. slow Luke Weaver out. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Almost Matty. That is Pete Alonso. Same old story, different day. That is another home run. That is number 17 for Pete Alonso. Going 432 feet. And the Mets are up 2 0 here in the fourth inning. Luke Weaver hanging it down the middle, basically. And destroys that ball. 2 and 2. On the ground up the middle. Step on the back for one. That is a double on play ball. Rosario from second to first. That is two outs here in the fifth inning. Now in a round, and it's one and two now. That's a base step the middle by Ramos, and he is on here in the fifth inning. In now, Steven Matz. Oh, that's a slapper. That's, that's going to be at least two RBIs. Rosario rounds third, and he is going to be safe at home. That is two. That is a RBI, a two-run double by Steven Matt slapping it to the right side of the field, right past the first baseman. Steven Matt is having himself a heck of a game. Base is loaded. Digging in once again, Robinson to Cano. He's one for two in this one. Slowly oh, hit to first. I don't think they can get two. One there. Uh, and that is going to be an RBI or rather a sacrifice for uh, Robinson Cano. And that makes things 5 nothing as Stephen Matt scores. Hope oh, that's a shot by McNeil. And it's going to be out of here. That is a home run by Jeff McNeil. That is number 10 of the season. And that is a two-run shot making things 7-0 here to right center, in the seventh inning. The, year, this leads the Mets' power to continues to, to show itself. That's another home run for the Mets. You want to talk about going down and getting a baseball? I want to talk about going down and creating some serious launch angle on that one. That ball was actually below the zone. Into the box, Pete Alonzo. That is a shot by Alonzo. No doubter. Into the restaurant area. That is another solo shot for Pete Alonzo. Number 18 of the year. That is back-to-back -back home runs. And now the Mets are up. 8-0. to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark well hit the base hit by Dominic Smith that's gonna be at least one run Conforto make his way to third rounding third throw at home and no no throw that's gonna be a two run double by Dominic Smith that is third RBI of the game Dominic Smith showing his presence as a platoon guy with Cespedes And wow, the Mets continue to destroy the Dimebacks 10-0. Oh, 
this will be the seventh pitch coming up. This Ooh, that is a shot by Nito. Wow. And it's gone. That, <laughs> I am speechless right now. That pitch was hanging. And the Mets are up 11 to 1 here so in the eighth inning. Ginkle just floated that ball up there. I believe it's a curveball. Nito just jumped all over it. Shows you how much the next to take a turn. So far, two for three in this one. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball. Oh boy, this is McNeil with another home run. Over the bullpen. Almost to the bridge. That's the second home run of the game. It is now 12 to 1. Mets win 12 to 1. Steven Matz with a heck of a game. No earned runs and just probably under a handful of hits. Probably three or four hits. Pete Alonso hitting two home runs. Same thing with Jeff McNeil. It's been a great, crazy offense for the Mets right now. Jeff McNeil batting three for four, two home runs, and three RBIs. Pete Alonso, three for four, two home runs, two RBIs. That is another win for Steve Matz. He's going to be three and three for a season. He went only three hits and two walks. Okay, so we're just going to sim. Okay, so next game is going to be with Rick Porcello. It's three and two. So we're going to move over here. We're going to sim through the dates. Win. So that's win, that's loss, that's win. Now we're 34 and 20. It's gonna be the May 27th game in Philadelphia. We got Rich Porcello versus Zach Eflin. He's 2 and 5 with a 4.3 year rate. Let's take a look at the stats before we decide to shut things down. Jacob DeGrom, 7 and 1 with a 3.3 year rate, 91 strikeouts. Pete Alonso, 21 home runs, batting 289 with 4 RBIs. Well, Syndergaard, 4 and 4 with 4.36 ERA. Michael Kim for Porter, batting 286 with 13 home 34 RBI. Jeff McNeil continues to be hot with a 314 average. 12 home runs. Uh, Del Del and uh, Ben is on fire still. 3 wins, 0.81 ERA. Might have to move into the closer position because he this dominant. Take a look at the relief pitch match. They don't see how well they're doing. I think we have to suck. A 7 point or a 7 point 5 ERA. Lugo, ER with a 5. Really trying to work on him. I don't know what I could really do with him. Um, but you know what? Let's see if I can get anybody interesting for Edwin Diaz. Brad Hand is going to be the guy. Glenn. Welcome to the Mets, Brad Hand. And you, Dellen and Brad Hand. It's going to be filthy. All right, we just got Brad Hand in a huge trade, getting rid of Edwin Diaz. Now. All right, here we go. I'm going to trade Seth Luga and Brad Brock for Dan Winkler. He's a 29-year-old prospect. Well, not even a prospect. He plays for the Cubs. And he is an 85 overall. And I just traded two pitchers away. And I think this is going to benefit me. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it does. So we got Dan Winkler, Brad Hand as my setup guys, and then I got Dellen Bettens as as my closer. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Actually, no. Hold on. Let me let me fix that. Let's put Brad Hand as my closer. There you go. It's just that my, my other relief pitchers is something where I could really focus on. Justin Wilson, I'm okay with. I feel comfortable with him. Familia, eh. Adam Simber. Um, 
Let's take a look at his player card. Sinker, slider, fastball. Not a power pitcher. Uh, seems like he's a very methodical pitcher with his type of pitches. And let's take a look at the roster one more time. I think we can probably haul somebody out, maybe, relief pitcher. No, I think that's it. I mean, Walker's not doing too well. Uh, I think that's going to be it. And that's going to wrap things up for my New York Mets franchise. Two big trades for my bullpen. Uh, you know, trading Lugo is a bit hard for me. But I couldn't get the rhythm with him. And hopefully, I'm not, it's not going to bite me in the butt. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB The Show 20 New York Mets franchise. Don't, don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.